Hello English learners, Michael here and I'm sitting by the water here. I don't know how well you can hear me because the waves are quite loud. So if you cannot hear me, I apologize, but hopefully it's a beautiful way to start the video anyway. Um, I'm sitting on this swing here. See, I'm swinging. You may think I'm, where am I, in Thailand? I'm on holiday somewhere. But no, I'm actually in the center of London. So I thought today we could go for a walk along the Thames path. We're on the south bank of the Thames and we're gonna be walking past Greenwich, um, around the O2 arena and see what we can see on the way. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. The aim of this video is to show you some of the beautiful spots of London, but also um, give you some good English listening practice as well. So I hope I can achieve both of those today. The Thames Path is a, I think 184 mile, which is about 296 kilometers uh, trail, a national trail that follows the Thames River from the source in a place called Kemble all the way down to the Thames Barrier. And today we're gonna to be walking to the Thames Barrier. So that's where we're going today. Hopefully we can make it. I say walking actually, for some of it, I'm gonna be cruising. The word cruise, if you cruise, it kind of means you're traveling at a, a steady and fast speed. And this is what I will be cruising on. So I've got my longboard here and I don't know if I can film at the same time, but I'm gonna to try to use this to help me get there faster because it's a fairly long walk but with this it should be not too bad as long as the ground is flat so let's see so according to wikipedia a great source as you know the thames path officially opened in 1996 and a really good expression i saw on the wikipedia page they said the thames path is subject to flooding if something is subject to flooding or subject to something, that means it's likely to happen. So subject to flooding means it's likely to flood. Another example is if you don't buy a ticket on the train, you're subject to a fine. You are likely to be fined unless you buy a ticket. But I'm sure if you do come to London, you will even by chance come across the Thames path. It's very hard not to at some point, but I really would recommend kind of taking a stroll along the Thames path or even a bike ride it's really good for cycling as well because there are so many tourist attractions and things to see on the way behind me here you've got the financial district Isle of Dogs uh, in kind of east side of London if you go more to the center in the west you'll see things like Tower Bridge Tower of London and um, you'll see lots of history you will see St Paul's Cathedral and all that kind of stuff so it's a really fantastic place to come just with some sightseeing. Take a stroll along the river, go to a cafe and just see what's going on. It's always a good thing to do. Yeah, we'll continue walking now and hopefully come to something interesting soon. The first place we're going to is the O2 Arena. Now this is a, a huge kind of multi-purpose uh, activity arena kind of thing. It, how, it, I think it can house 20,000 20, people, I believe. So it's a huge dome. Um, it was originally called the Millennium Dome. I'm going to show you now. So in the foreground here, we've got a driving range, which is for golf. And in the background over there, you see I'm trying to skate and film at the same time. Hello. In the background over there, we've got the O2 Arena, which is the huge dome with the uh, yellow spires coming out of it. So that's where we're heading and apparently it's like three miles from here or something so hopefully we can make a bit more progress on skateboard. So at this point the Thames path does split into two and there's one kind of quicker way we could go but what we're doing now is we're walking around the I guess it's called the Greenwich Peninsula. Peninsula is like a kind of land that crops out into a, a body of water but it's not an island because it's still connected by a little bit of land. So this kind of sticks out up into the River Thames, um, but it's not an island. So we're walking around the peninsula now, um, quite beautiful, quite a sunny day. So yeah, let's see.
I think always the thing that makes me happiest when I'm longboarding is having smooth tarmac on the floor, a smooth, pa smooth path. It makes it so much more enjoyable and it, you go so much faster. It's so much fun. Yeah, we're now approaching the O2 Arena, so I'll swap the camera around. And yeah, just to give you a sense of scale, I don't know how well you can see, but there are two people right on the top. So right in the middle now, so there's two people here pointing at something, enjoying the view, I imagine. I, get, I guess the view is beautiful up there. So that kind of gives you a sense of scale as to how big it is. I heard, I think it was on Wikipedia, it's one of the largest domes like this in the world. It's quite amazing. Okay, so I'm quite tired out now because I was just skateboarding quite a lot to, to get here. I think we're, I feel like we're on the tip of the peninsula now. Um, so we're coming around. The Millennium Dome is just here behind me. Well, O2 Arena. But yeah, as I was saying earlier, it was originally, originally named the Millennium Dome. It was built to mark the turn of the century. So turn of the century, when we say turn of, that kind of means the changing of something. Usually we use it for like a, a large chunk of time. Um, I think I said century, I meant to say turn of the millennium. Millennium is 1000 years. But yeah, for example, turn of the decade, turn of the century, turn of the millennium. That just means it's changing to a new millennium. So this was from uh, 1999 to 2000, basically. Now, I'll be honest, I've never been to this part of London before, so I'm quite excited, actually. But what we've just come to here is the Emirates cable cars. So these traverse the river, they go across the river. I believe it's about one kilometer it goes across the river. It takes somewhere between five to 10 minutes. I don't think it's too expensive. It's just a few pounds to get across. So if you want to, you can hop in one of these, take a trip across the river, and I imagine you would be awarded with these beautiful views and really Instagrammable photo opportunities. Okay, so I've made it now to the Thames barrier. This is kind of officially the end of the River Thames. Um, I've never been here before and I kind of underestimated how long it would take to get here. So I'm a little bit, you know, it took a little bit longer. I have to go back soon. We're losing the sunlight. Here it's quite impressive. This is a barrier that essentially stops London from flooding. So when the water level is very high, they basically close up and they restrict the amount of water that is allowed through the river. It cost a whopping 500 million pounds. Whopping means like a really, really large amount of something, like large number of, large amount of money, really. Yeah, here we are. This is our destination. I've got to go back now to the center of, I've got to go seven miles back to the center. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take, but I'm going to try to make, make it as quick as I can. But yeah, thank you very much for watching today. I really hope you've enjoyed it. It's a really beautiful day and a beautiful area, and I hope that translates well over to video. So thank you so much for watching. Here is one last look before we go back. The sun is beginning to set, so I better hurry up. And yeah, don't forget to give me your feedback in the comments. Let me know if you like this video. Let me know. Let me know what kind of style you want. I don't know, maybe you want me to do a bit more English teaching on the way, like explaining some of the meanings of words and trying to introduce more vocabulary. Or maybe you just prefer some listening practice and having a look around, around London. So let me know what is best for you and I'll try to accommodate. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I am knackered, I'm really tired. But yeah, looking forward to seeing how this one comes out anyway. So thanks a lot and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.